Welcome to Two Guys Kitchens. My name is Sue Hawks and today I'm going to give you some tips on how to use the Neff Circotherm oven. So, what do all the buttons do? This is the question we're always asked. So, should we start off at the beginning? First button we have here is the minute timer button, which is controlled by the button next to it. And if we want to time something, we can just put the time in we one hand control, so we don't have to push anything else and the timer is now set and we can see that with the icon. Next, if we push it again, this will give us the time of day and we can change that. We can only change it when the icon is actually in the window. That's the only time it will allow us to change it. So we're moving on down here and this is the oven functions. So across the top, we have the box with all of the different um, functions. And in the window here on this electronic model, we have the wording. So we start with the circotherm, three shelf cooking, no preheating and um, fan temperature. So a little bit lower than your standard. Next, we have circotherm eco, shelf cooking on shelf one only. Um, and moving on we have top and bottom heat and we cook only on shelf two. We do need to preheat the oven for 20 minutes and uh, we can only cook on that shelf because we need to keep the food far enough away from the grill and far enough away from the base heat to get an even cooking. It's a little bit like we used to cook about 40 years ago. Next, we have Circotherm Intensive. As you can see, the temperature is mirrored, the suggested temperature is mirrored on the side here, and that's coming in at 220. We're cooking on shelf one or two. The base heat comes on, the fan comes on, and we're going to get great cooking on things like frozen food. Anything that needs a crisp bottom will cook beautifully on this Circotherm Intensive function. Next, we have bread baking. This oven has a bread baking facility, and it will give us um, a little bit extra on our um, circotherm temperature. So most of the time our circotherm will go to 200, but when we're bread baking, just got a little bit extra because we just need an extra heat when we're um, baking bread. Next, we've got bottom heat. Again, shelf two, put your universal pan in there, preheat the oven for 20 minutes, standard temperature, which is uh, quite hot at 200, and you will get a beautifully cooked quiche without having to bake blind the base. Next, we've got Serco roasting. In the past, we had a rotisserie in the back of the oven, but now this system, it allows the um, grill and the fan to alternate on and off. We get a beautiful crisp top. It'll make you a lovely uh, pork with crackling, this will, um, because the heat from the grill is fantastic. It really crisps up the crackling. Next, we've got the full surface grill. So we've got the whole of the grill here, or if we go to center area grill, it's just the middle. So two pieces of steak, a couple of slices of toast, we can put down the middle. We must have closed door grilling in this. And I um, believe that it's best to put your food under the grill and turn it on. Sometimes um, if we're cooking meat, um, we get a little bit of um, spitting on the grill. So when you take your meat out from under the grill, leave the grill on for a couple of minutes and that will burn off any excess and you won't get a nasty surprise next time you use the grill. Moving on down here, we have low temperature cooking. This is for lean pieces of meat, which you um, brown all over on the hob and cook for up to four or five hours. So a piece of sirloin, we take all the fat off it, no bone, brown it on the hob, and it cook in about four and a half hours. Beautifully tender sliced meat um, that really melts in your mouth. Next, we've got steam cooking. You must have a system steamer um, which is uh, purchased separately to use this one. Um, but uh, you put it onto shelf two, it has a dome and it will steam you some uh, beautifully cooked meals. Next we have dough proving. Dough proving, we pour water, 55 millilitres of water onto the floor of the oven. And um, what happens is that the base element comes on, warms the water up. We put all our bread that we need to um, dough proof in here and it gives it a perfect environment at blood temperature to grow and it also keeps it out of the way. So no more using the airing cupboard, ladies. It just pop it in the oven and uh, when it's finished, you wipe out the water and put it straight onto the bread baking and don't preheat the oven. 
Next, pyrolytic cleaning. This particular oven has a pyrolytic cleaner. If we look in the top of the door here, we can see uh, this is where the um, door is locked. It heats up to 500 degrees and it will completely clean your oven, so you will never have to clean your oven again. Thank you very much for watching our video. I hope you have found it interesting and informative. If you need any further information, please do not hesitate to call in to the Two Guys showroom in Basingstoke, where the staff will be happy to help you. Goodbye.